Hey everybody, so I'm coming to you today with my review of the Rihanna Fenty Beauty Foundation. I also have the lip product that she released, the Fenty Glow. Uh, it is a gloss bomb, excuse me, Fenty Glow is the color. So I did try this on yesterday at Sephora and ended up keeping it on for eight hours. It lasted very well. I'll talk to you more about that in a second. But this is color 420. I actually looked on the website and I thought I was going to be um, color 440. Um, so I'm glad I did go into the store and check because 440 was much too deep for me. She has released 40 shades from the lightest of the light to like my uh, my brother's granddaughter Bailey is like color 100 and my cousin uh, Sailor is probably color 490 so the full range is covered in just my entire family in three generations so I can't even imagine trying to release a product to the whole world you're supposed to shake it very well before you use it so I'm just trying to make sure I'm doing that I can't actually hear it so it's completely full I can't hear anything when I try to shake it like with my ordinary colors you can hear that very liquidy but this you can't really hear hear it at all when you shake it so all right I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my hand so that is one full pump well I think it's one full pump it just started so I'm gonna start off with that um, I actually applied it yesterday in Sephora with my fingers and when I swatched the color 440 it doesn't run that much with just the one pump but I have noticed some people that have um, used it and put up some videos on YouTube that it is a little bit more runny when you have more product on your hand. So again, I did it with my fingers in Sephora yesterday and it was fine. I didn't have any issue at all with using my fingers. However, I didn't intend to do that. That was just to swatch it. And I ended up taking off the 440 color and using makeup remover to get that off. And I did not put any moisturizer under the 420 when I tried it in Sephora. So after about, I wanna say I had it on about three o'clock, put it on around three. And then I ended up taking it off in the evening around 11. So I had it on for eight hours. And I noticed some itchiness around nine o'clock, which is normal for me. I have that issue with um, any foundation, not any, some foundations when I don't put on any moisturizer underneath. So there's a second pump. So it's not the product, definitely. It's just the way my skin is. If I don't uh, use any moisturizer because I have dry skin. If you've seen some of my videos in the past, you know that I have dry skin. So I do have to make sure I moisturize before I put on foundation products, especially like a product like this that is a, a matte product. Soft matte, actually. It's not drying because I do tend to stay away from matte products because I don't like to look dry. My skin's already dry enough on its own. So yeah, that was two pumps. It is medium coverage with just two pumps for me. I've seen people add four and five pumps to get full coverage on YouTube videos. And I don't know if you necessarily want to go that high just for what I'm doing, just running out to do some errands, grocery shopping and whatnot. But if I was doing a full face and going out for like an evening or something like that to a party or event, I probably would go a little bit heavier. I don't have a lot to cover, but I do like to have an even skin tone. So yesterday when I tried it out, I noticed that the shade range was pretty good. Like I said, my um, brother's granddaughter is probably shade 100 and one of my cousins, Sale, is probably the 490 shade. However, I did notice that there could be some more shades at the end range for some of our darker skin friends. Like my um, one of my darker skin girlfriends probably could be two or three shades um, darker than the um, deepest color right now, which is 490. But I was kind of excited to see there are seven additional shades beyond my complexion. Um, my Dolce & Gabbana, this is color number 170, $68 by the way for one ounce. And there's only one more color after this shade 180. And my Giorgio Armani, this is $42. And this is the travel size. This is not even the full size. The full size, I want to say, is $64. So this Fenty Beauty is only $34. And it's a little larger than the normal one ounce. It's 1.8 fluid ounces, 32 milliliters. So I was very impressed with the amount of product, the coverage, and the price point. And my RCMA, 
which as some of you already know, I've been using this for a while. It actually hit pan on color number six. This was, this four color palette was $27. So I need to refill number six and just the refill for number, not the refill, falling apart. The um, color single pop for number six is $23. It lasts a very long time. You don't need a lot of that. So yeah, this is the color number 420. And I, of course, take some pictures outside so you can see what it looks like. I put it on with my Beauty Blender, and you can see it's a significant amount of product that's there on the Beauty Blender still. You can use a foundation brush. I generally don't. I have foundation brushes. I've got a few of them, actually. I have the Face Blender that I use a lot for my RCMA cream product. And I have the Sigma foundation brush that I've never used, number F60. And then I have my Delium Tools uh, foundation brush that I like just because of the color. But I don't necessarily know which would be the best tool to use for this product. But again, whatever works for you. Fingers worked for me in the store, even though I had some patchiness up here because it wasn't really um, done very well with my fingers. I was just testing it out, didn't intend to wear the product for eight hours like I ended up doing. So I'm going to go ahead and add my gloss. This color actually reminds me, this Fenty Glow color reminds me of my Laura Mercier. Uh, what color is this called? This is called Blush. It's not the same color, but it's in the same family for me as far as a nude, pinky nude that you can wear pretty much anytime. This has a lot more shimmer in it though. I don't find it to be sticky. Like some lip gloss products or lip glosses are very sticky, and this I don't find it to be. I probably should put a liner on with it, but whatever. I'm going to also add, and yesterday when I tried it out, um, you'll see the pictures, I did not put on any other product, just the gloss and the foundation, but I am going to put on today some of my uh, MAC Pinch Me Blush. She had some beautiful highlighters. I'm still kind of intimidated by makeup. You know, I've only been playing with makeup for a couple of years now, still, you know, looking at foundations. I have my RCMA that I pretty much is my go-to now, but as you all have seen, I try a lot of different products and foundation colors and things over the years. And so I'm still a little bit intimidated by makeup. So I did not pick up the highlighters, but they were gorgeous. Oh my God. Uh, one of the Sephora cast members had on the Trophy Wife. And it was just very golden and beautiful. Um, I didn't buy it. And it's actually, I think it sold out while I was standing there. Lots of these products were sold out, by the way. I got to Sephora around 2.45 on Friday. That was the launch day. It launched at midnight. They had a, um, a launch party in Times Square at that Sephora. Which at the time, I was like four minutes away walking because I was at STK with one of my friends. But I didn't know about it. Had I known, of course, I would have gone to the event. But anyway, I ended up going over uh, Friday around 2.45. I intended to go a little earlier since I'd gotten off work at 1, but didn't work out. So by the time I got there at 2.45, 3 o'clock, had my color match, things were selling out left and right. And I actually got the second to the last Fenty Glow. It sold out right after that, and the Trophy Wife sold out while I was standing there trying to decide on the Fenty Glow. So it, it's just, yeah, the products are really beautiful. The color range is beautiful. I ended up spending $19. I'm sorry, no. I had a gift card for my birthday, so I uh, ended up spending $34 for the foundation. And the Fenty Gloss is $18. I'm going to have a little bit of mascara as well. I'm not doing concealer. I normally would do my NARS concealer, but I just want to see how the foundation lasts with my proper moisturizer underneath, which I use my Embryolisse, in case you're wondering. Just going to add a little bit of my L'Oreal mascara. I'm just going to run some errands, grocery shopping, things like that. So nothing too fancy. Alright, so that is my finished look with the Rihanna Fenty Beauty. And again, 40 shades. It's a very extensive line for a beginning product line. Usually you see about 10 to 15 shades for new lines. And even some of the upper end lines like this 
Dolce & Gabbana, I think it's only 15 colors that it comes in. And the Giorgio Armani, it goes up to color number 14, I want to say. It has some half shades, like three and a half, five and a half. But they also have some shades they discontinued. Because I used to think my color would have been 11. And I never got the chance to try. I could never find it anywhere. And then it was discontinued. So it wouldn't have been a good idea to find it and end up loving it and not be able to find it anywhere. So again, only went up to 14 shades. With some being discontinued as well as half shades. So definitely not 40 shades. I think I've seen... Makeup Forever has about 40 shades for um, their main line foundation and also Lancome with Lupita Nyong'o uh, they have 40 shades in that range as well. So let me just tell you about the product. Oh by the way it's 1017 so I'm going to keep this on for probably 10 to 12 hours. I had it on yesterday for 8 hours and had no issues other than a little bit of itching like I said that I noticed around after the six hour mark but that's nothing to do with the foundation that's just my skin and it went away it wasn't like scratch your face itchy it was just something that happens with my skin when I haven't properly moisturized so let's see 40 groundbreaking shades and it is the ultimate photo filter foundation form born in 40 brown excuse me born in 40 boundary breaking shades Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation gives an instantly smooth, pore diffuse, shine free finish that easily builds to medium to full coverage. And I have seen that on some YouTube videos. I saw a woman with a lot of hyper hyperpigmentation and, and acne scars. I think she used about five pumps, but it was flawless. So you definitely can get full coverage and build this up if you want to. I only did two pumps. I've seen people do three, four, five. I haven't seen anyone go over five pumps as of yet, but I've seen people get full coverage out of it. I know my brows need to be done. I'm trying to grow them out to reshape them. I actually haven't gotten it done since January, so it takes a very long time for your brows to grow back out. So ladies, be careful if you're waxing and plucking, because if you want to grow them out, it can take a very long time. So that is my Fenty Beauty look. I will come back to you after I have had this on for some hours. I'm going to go downtown and uh, pick up some groceries and do a little bit of shopping. So I'll be back in a few hours and I'm probably going to keep this on for at least 10 to 12 hours. And I'll put up the pictures if I haven't already from yesterday when I had it on for 8 hours. So this is the Fenty Beauty foundation and gloss. The blush is MAC Pinch Me and the mascara is just L'Oreal. And that's all I'm going to do with my face for right now. I'll be back. So this is a Fenty Beauty after about 25 minutes. It is 10.42, sure, 10.43, excuse me. So I've had it on for about 25 minutes. Just wanted you to see what it looks like once it's all dried down. It's very skin-like. It is a soft matte. It's not super dry looking. Let me bring it in a little closer. So that is the Fenty Beauty color 420 after it's dried down for about 25 minutes. It does not take long to dry down. In fact, I would say you need to pretty much work in sections or work quickly because I found that after maybe about two minutes, it wasn't really um, spreadable. And that was when I was using my hands with the Beauty Blender. You might have a little more time because it is damp. But when I was using my fingers, I noticed that it dried down within about two minutes or so so you don't have a whole lot of time to play around and blend it out if you want to do your whole face at once it's probably easier to work in sections all right so that is 25 minutes in I will be back so I am back it has been it's 2 30 it's been a little over four hours since I put on the uh, Rihanna foundation Fenty Beauty color number 420 and I walked downtown did some shopping went to Target Trader Joe's Macy's a couple things like that so it wasn't um it's not hot outside it's about 65 70 it was about 65 when I left it's about 70 now so it's not hot or anything and I have a little perspiration but not like sweaty or anything and I didn't feel the need. So there's a little, little transfer that you probably can't even see. A little bit of transfer after walking downtown. Now remember, I did not set this, I did not set this foundation with powder or anything. I just let it dry down on its own. So that little bit of transfer. Let's see. 
and I think it's just like here in my forehead where I had a little bit of sweating and down here on my chin where I had a little bit of perspiration so yeah still just a little bit of transfer after four hours of wear a little more than four hours so I will be ooh, I will be back in a few more hours to let you know how it's wearing right now still looks really good I don't see any breakthrough haven't had any issues with it at all lip gloss is actually still intact I haven't really eaten a whole lot of anything which I probably should since I haven't eaten at all today but yeah so this is four hours in I will be back and just doing a quick clip outside so you can see what it looks like it is 234 So yeah, I just want you to see what it looks like in natural light after four hours of wear. Still looks good. I'll be back. So just doing another quick update. It is 7.05. I've had the foundation on for about nine hours since 10.17 today. The sun is actually setting, so I'm trying to get the last of the daylight. So you can see how it looks after nine hours. I did um, reapply my lip gloss and I also added some lip liner. This is my ColourPop K pencil and I put on some more Fenty Glow. But yeah, so this is nine hours. I'll be back. Hey everybody, so I am back and I have had on this foundation. It's 11.15 p.m. I've had on this foundation since 10, around 10, 15 this morning, so 13 hours. Let me zoom you in so you can see. It's really late, so I cannot give you a daylight. Let me turn on my light here. Yeah, so this is what the foundation looks like after 13 hours of wear. Maybe I'm too close. But yeah, I haven't had any problems with it. I have dry skin. I had no breakthrough. I had no issues at all. My blush is still there. I did some errands and some shopping today and I was walking. I probably walked about, I didn't have my pedometer on, but I would say about two and a half miles total, not um, each way, to go and do my shopping. Target, uh, Macy's, different grocery shopping. And I got these cute earrings too from one of the stores downtown and um, Trader Joe's grocery store and everything. So I love the foundation. It is probably, if it holds up as well tomorrow and Monday when I go to work, this could end up being my new everyday going to work foundation. I'm very basic when it comes to doing my makeup. I did not get any of the highlighters, any of the kilowatts, any of the shimmer sticks. Although I did swatch the cinnamon, the rum, the unicorn, the purple one, and the orange one. The orange one's really beautiful. What was that one called? Chili Mango. That's really beautiful. I ended up not getting it because I remember that I do have an orange and I would use it for blush because I don't really highlight or contour. As you guys know, if you follow my videos, I don't really get into all of those things with makeup. I just do very basic face, foundation, blush, some um, lip color, and mascara. That's generally all I do. If I'm going out, I might do like a red lip or something like that. I hardly ever do eyeshadow because I'm still very intimidated by eyeshadow. And I'm kind of intimidated by highlighters and contour and conceal and all that stuff other than just my basic under eye concealer. So I've been using makeup for a couple years, still kind of intimidated. So that is why I did not venture out and get all of the highlighters or the kilowatts and the shimmer sticks. However, I did remember that I had this beautiful orange blush that I would probably use that chili mango for. It's by um, Makeup Forever, number 515. I have never used it. I got it um, swatched on me or used on me when I had my makeover done at Sephora with Makeup Forever. I didn't like the foundation, but I like this orange. I'm probably going to try to use it in the next week or so with this uh, Fenty Beauty foundation. So a foundation like it, very skin-like. My color is 420, lasted all day. I have dry skin, so make sure if you have dry skin, you do moisturize underneath. Because I noticed yesterday when I had this foundation on for eight hours, I had some itchiness, which again is my fault. It's not the foundation, it's not any of the ingredients. It's just when I don't moisturize my skin, I sometimes get some itchiness from different foundations that I've tried in the past, including my RCMA that I use pretty much every time. Uh, I do my makeup for the last few months, maybe in the last year. 
Uh, I do not know if it's uh, SPF or what the SPF is in this foundation. I did notice in the ingredients that it does have titanium dioxide, but there was no SPF rating, so that makes me think there's probably so little in it that it probably didn't have to be listed on the products or on the ingredient list or the website or anything like that. Not the ingredient list because it was their titanium dioxide, but it didn't have an SPF rating. So I do also like the, like the packaging. I should mention that if I didn't already. This is glass and I like the white top, although some people may not because you have to kind of keep it clean. I did clean it up already because there was some um, foundation that had dripped down. So it looked a little gross. But the frosted glass bottle I do like. $34. My Armani Luminous Silk. This is $42. It's the small travel size, 18 milliliters, not the... 32 milliliters of this one for $42 and this is plastic so actually is it maybe not no it's glass so uh, $42 for this one and my Dolce & Gabbana one ounce 30 milliliters it's also glass with the gold top I notice a lot of companies use black and I didn't notice it until I started looking at Rihanna's using white so my Gucci uh, lip lacquer what color is that 160 black my Chanel lip color glossomer black and makeup forever mostly always black so it was very interesting that she picked white so I was very happy about that of course NARS almost always uses black for pretty much everything got lots of NARS products here and the only other one I found that used white sort of white um, is my Estee Edit and it's actually silver these are some lipsticks silver with white but everything else pretty much was black or the Dolce & Gabbana which is gold and the one I found that was also white is RCMA. And this is just uh, my normal foundation that I showed you guys earlier. So overall, I do like the Rihanna foundation. I do like the lip gloss. Very pretty, easy, everyday color. And it smells like candy, if I didn't mention that before. It has a very sweet smell. Uh, the ladies in Sephora that were looking at the products with me, one of them mentioned that it smelled like Skittles. I don't really know what Skittles smell like, but it does have a sweet smell. And the foundation has a smell as well, not when you put it on your face. I didn't notice a the smell then, but it does have like a perfume smell. Very light, clean perfume scent. It kind of reminds me, I feel like it, it reminds me of my um, Kate Spade Walk on Air. I don't know if it's the same smell, that's just what it reminds me of. So yeah, I do like the smell of the foundation. You don't notice it, or at least I didn't notice it when I was putting on the foundation. But I did um, take a moment to smell it a little while ago just to see if it had any kind of odor to it. But overall, I'm very happy with the product. Had no issues with it. I will probably be going back to Sephora to play around with some of the other products. I don't necessarily know if I'm going to buy the Shimmer Sticks or the Trophy Wife, which was sold out when I was there. Actually sold out that day when I was looking at the products. I didn't even get a chance to really play with it other than the tester for like two seconds before people started buying them up and other people using the tester. Plus I was more interested in finding the lip gloss tester while I had the second to the last lip gloss in my hand without having tested it yet. But yeah, overall, I like the foundation. Didn't have any issues with it. I'm very impressed with the color range. Like I said, I generally do not see that many shades for women beyond my color. This 170 Dolce & Gabbana, there's one shade after this 180. So for there to be, I'm 420, so there, for there to be seven more shades beyond my skin tone, it's just not the norm other than them like Makeup Forever and Lancome. So for a first launch product, the color range is amazing. I know that there could be some more um, in the deeper tones because I do have some family members and friends that would probably be 500, 510, something like that. But yeah, it covers my family. Three generations could be covered from the 100 color. It's probably my, my brother's grandbaby. And all the way up to the 490, which is probably my cousin Sayla. So it covers my family and three generations of my family in that color range. We all fit in there somewhere. And please don't ask me any silly questions. Yes, my brother is black <laughs> and his, his granddaughter could wear shade 100. So yeah, overall, very happy with the products. Feel free to ask me any questions. And I am about to change because my husband's on the way home and we're going out. So hope you guys uh, enjoy the review. Talk to you soon. Thanks.